hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be cutting and sewing a victorian corset so now i've drawn a straight line which is going to be our starting point and then we're going to come down by seven and a half inches eight and a half inches for our chest line 10 inches for our bust point okay 13 and a half inches for our under bust and then 16 inches for our waist and then the full length of our top is going to be 20 inches guys so now i've extended those lines like so we have the armhole line seven and a half inches i wanted the armhole to be high so and then we have the waist and the full length of the corset top so on the shoulder now we're going to go in by seven and a half inches is our shoulder and then on the armhole line as well we're going to go in by seven and a half inches and then just connect those lines together to make a straight line in order to form our curve we're going to go in by three inches for our armhole in order to make our shoulder slant okay and then we're coming down by one inch for our shoulder slant and then we're going to connect it to that point right there to our neck line right there So now guys we're going to go in by four inches which is going to be the distance from our nipple to nipple which is eight divided by two okay i came down by two inches because i wanted the top to be longer because it's going to have a bass look okay so that is 22 inches in total okay and so now we're just going to draw a straight line because this is where we're going to impute our dart Okay, so now I'm just extending that line like so. So now from the bust point, we're going to come down by one inch, okay guys? One inch, and then on the under bust, we're going to come out by half an inch on both sides. Half an inch on both sides in order to make our breast cut, all right? And then for the waist as well, we're also going to come out by half an inch on both sides all the way down to the bottom of the top and then we're just going to connect those lines together in order to make our curve For the chest line as well, we're also going to come out by half an inch on both sides and then just connect it like so in order to make a curve. As you can see, you can see the curve, you can see the breast cut, alright? So now, a Victorian crochet usually has a lot of dots. For our first dots, we're going to be dividing this space into two and then we have... 1.5 inches and then we're just going to mark that out and draw a straight line in order to make our second dart okay guys so i wanted this first dart to be slanted actually i wanted everything to be slanted to come all the way to the center so i'm going to be taking in one inch on one side this particular side I'm gonna take in one inch in from there okay this is going to give it a slant look okay now for our second dart I'm going to be using the shoulder line so I'm just going to be marking seven and a half inches all the way down you can as well make a different line but i just felt that was way easier so now i'm just going to extend that line and do the exact same thing thinking one inch on one side of the dart okay just like i did for the second dart so i'm just showing everything this is indicates the part that is going to be cut out okay guys not be confused 
So now I'm going to input our real measurements, the measurement of my bust and then of my waist and also adding the allowances from the darts that we have taken out, okay? So we have 9 inches plus 1 inch which is the dart that was taken on that point right there and then for the waist we have 7.5 inches and then we're going to calculate all of the darts that has been taken out we have two inches in total so we're going to add two inches as our allowance now for the bottom as well i'm going to be using our lower waist measurements for the bottom of the top so we have 7.75 inches plus three inches which is the dart intake so we're just going to connect everything together like so So now from the waist, I'm going to come in by half an inch in order to give that snatched, really snatched look, okay? You can go in as much as one inch, but I went in by half an inch just to be on a safer side. So yeah, this is the front piece now. For, for the shoulder, for the shoulder, I'm going to be going in by... 1.75 inches rather in order to make our shoulder and then i'm going to be making a curve because i wanted a curved look and i'm just going to connect it together like this so guys for our bask i'm going to be coming down by two inches from the waist right there okay and then i'm going to connect it to our 22 inches full length okay so we're just going to draw a straight line in order to make a, an accurate curve all right and as you can see i finally made the curve like so so we have one two three and four parts of our front piece and then I did I cancelled our curve of the armhole guys and I just went ahead to not use a half an inch curve at all. So now we're just going to blend the line out and this is what we have for our front piece. Now for the back piece, okay, we're also going to do the same thing for the front piece, come down by seven and a half inches by eight inches, eight and a half inches rather, by 10 inches, by 13 and a half inches, which is our underboss, and then 16, which is our waist. So we're going to be marking our four inch mark as well, and then seven and a half for our armhole line. Okay, one and a half, one inches rather for our shoulder slant, and then three inches for our neck in order to make our shoulder slant. So now I'm going to be coming in by half an inch on both sides for our back darts. We do not need a lot of darts for the back, okay? I'm just going to be making two pieces, which is just one dart, and dividing into two pieces for the back, okay? Now this is our darts, just going to shade that out. All right, now we're going to make our armhole curve. And then our shoulder is 1.75 inches and then we're going to come down and then just draw a straight line and then make our curve for the back as well. So now we're going to impute our original measurements. Okay. We have nine inches for the bust there wasn't any allowances taken in so we did not add any other allowance but for the waist we added allowance as you can see and then for the full length measurements as well we also added our dart intake allowance so now we're just going to connect everything together like so one and two 
so guys i went ahead to add the remaining piece of our back piece because the initial pattern paper wasn't enough and i just extended everything and just corrected what needed to be corrected so guys this is how it looks this is the back piece and this is the front piece we have one two three four and then we have one two four both the front and the back piece so now this is the fabric guys and this is everything all cut i went ahead to add a gum stay okay to each piece i cut each piece four of each which is the main fabric and also the lining of the fabric you can see four pieces each of each pattern paper piece okay so now we're just going to go on ahead and so this is the first piece of the front fabric so now this is one of one for the main fabric and one for the lining and now this is the second piece as well so now we're just going to join everything together like so this is for the front now okay not the lining for the front just for the main fabric okay so now we're just going to flip together like this and then just so half an inch we also added half an inch all the way please do not forget to add half an inch all the way when you're cutting your main fabric so i'm just doing half an inch in like so and then i'm going to also put the other side and then so half an inch as well so now this is the finished look and then for the lining as well i went ahead to make our boning casing because we're going to be inserting boning in our lining and not the main fabric okay so now for three and four we're also going to join that as well half an inch all the way guys like this and then for the lining as well we're also going to do the same thing we're about to do now just join them together like so match them up you have to be sure when you're when you're cutting your pieces that you cut them accurately so one isn't bigger than the other or something like that so now we're just going to sew half an inch all the way as well i'm just flipping it upside down in order to sew perfectly and conveniently so guys i also went ahead to add um our burning casing for the lining piece we're going to be adding a burning casing for all of the lining piece now this is the back piece guys i'm just going to separate the lining from the main fabric so i do not get confused you have to be sure of this back piece because as you can see it is quite confusing you have to know where lies the zipper allowance and where lies the sides okay guys so now we're just going to sew all right separate them like so and then just join them together half an inch the same thing that we've always done okay guys Now this is it, this is how it turned out. Now this is the main fabric, okay guys. Now for our lining piece, we're just going to do the exact same thing and then stitch our burning passage, okay guys. So now we're going to connect three and four of the front piece with the back piece okay and these are the sides of the back piece as you can see and now we're just going to stitch them up as well using the same half an inch all the way okay we're going to do the same for the main fabric and also the lining the lining is just basically a clone we're going to do the exact same thing for the main fabric and the lining the only difference is that the lining has the burning passage okay guys now we're just going to align them together if it doesn't match do not worry 
when you're done we're going to trim all that needs to be trimmed all the excesses okay in order to create our perfect finish so now this is what we have for half of the front and the back piece okay now we're just going to align everything together like so And then for the other side, which is, this is the lining, guys. We're just going to do the exact same thing now. Align everything together and then just stitch. So, guys, for the center front, this is the center front of the main fabric. So, this is how we're just going to do it now. Just align everything together like this place it exactly like so and then we're just going to stitch half an inch it's super super easy guys if everything is cut accurately and you label your pieces together so you know which goes into which where goes into where one to two two to three and three to four just like so now this is me just stitching our center front to the already joined back and side that's the back piece and the side front so now this is the back piece the side front and the center front and then for the other side we're also going to join everything together and this is the lining all joined as you can see so now guys i went ahead to fold both the lining and the main fabric together in order to trim all of the excesses out okay as you can see everything now is now completely equal and perfectly trimmed okay so now we're just going to spread everything out this is the main fabric we're just going to spread everything out like this and then place our um our lining piece on top right sides facing right sides in order to sew and to turn okay so we're just going to align everything together the uh, the shoulders we're going to align everything and then just sew okay sew the back piece as well okay so the front we're going to sew the top and top stitch okay and then we're going to flip again and then sew everything in order to close we're going to fix the bone in first before we close the bottom of the top guys so now for the boning we're just going to calculate how long we want our boning to be and then calculate the boning itself just cut okay straighten out and then just put in place put inside the um the lining passage super easy and fast guys Okay, this is it if you can see guys we stop stitched the top of so now we all we have the boning all fixed now we're going to flip again wrong size right size facing right size rather we've already sewn the bottom and as you can see the shoulder are inside of the piece and not outside guys okay and now we're just going to turn it outside out from the side of the back which wasn't sewn okay one was sewn but the other was sewn halfway okay so now we're just going to use this to turn everything outside
So as you can see, this is our shoulder pieces. And now we're just going to fold the sides and then just stitch basically, okay. But first off, we're going to iron it out. So now this is the ironed look. We also ironed this piece and now we're going to go on ahead to stitch it, okay. And for the shoulder guys, you know, remember I said we shouldn't close the shoulder. So now we're just going to fold it in like this. Iron fold like this. And then we're just going to insert one piece into the other and then just stitch. So here is me stitching part of the back piece guys and it is already finished. So now I went ahead to fold and iron the shoulder. So now we'll just see how I'm going to do it, okay. So you're going to place the back into the front halfway, okay, half an inch, and then we're just going to top stitch it like this. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side as well. It is usually the smaller part into the bigger part. So now we're just going to top stitch like so. So now guys, this is our finished look. I went ahead to add a zipper. If you do not know how to fix a zipper, I have a video on that in my channel. Please go check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Please do not forget to share this video, comment. God bless you.